I'm warning you. I'll break your jaw before you even get that gun out of your jacket. Better get him to a hospital. Hello, nerds, and welcome back to yet another episode of Prime Video Anime Club here on the Prime Video YouTube channel. Did you have a good holiday? I know I did. I drank a lot of eggnog. A lot of eggnog. My insides might be made of eggnog now. And now I'm relaxed, refreshed, and ready to continue filling you guys in on more anime that you can find on the Prime Video Anime roster. But before we jump into today's video topic, please make sure that you give this video a fat thumbs up and subscribe to the Prime Video YouTube channel if you haven't already. Now, we're going to be getting more and more anime over the course of the new year. Woo! And I promise you won't want to miss getting any updates. In today's video, we're going to be talking about old school anime, particularly some gems from the 80s that you can find here on Prime Video. Now, even though the 80s was well before my time, I personally still make it a point to watch a lot of 80s titles. There's just something so unique about the art style from that time. You simply just cannot beat a good anime from the 80s. I I'm telling you, no matter what age you are, I'm hoping that this video inspires you to want to take a look at all different types of anime, old and new. Without further ado, here are my top three 80s anime that you can find right here on Prime Video. Anime number one on my list is a show called Goku Midnight Eye. No, no, not that Goku. Jeez, y'all, come on, come on, stay with me. In this cyberpunk anime saga, a private eye uses his hacking skills to battle underworld mobsters and murderous cyborgs. <laughs> This anime is so damn dope, you guys. Now, it was created in 1989, so it's leaning more towards the 90s era of anime, but I still thought it'd be great to add to this list regardless. If you are a big fan of futuristic themes and cyberpunk action, then this is the show for you. This ex-cop turned private detective named Goku Furinji gains a cybernetic eye implant that can pretty much control any computer system on the planet. Sounds insane, right? This series has some really gorgeous designs and animation, and the action scenes are phenomenal. The bitch has laser breath. Did I mention it's also in English? Yes, this is another show with an English dub that you can find on Prime Video because I know y'all are always asking, where are the dubs, where are the dubs, dub dub this, dub dub that. You never talk about animes that are dubbed. I am so sorry, but it takes some time to find these. And also the lead character is played by none other than Steve Bloom. Y'all already know who that is, okay? If you've been an anime fan for a long time, you already know who the GOAT is. I'm telling you, you're gonna wanna add this one to your binge list ASAP. It's a wild ass ride and you can get in and all the action right here on Prime Video, free with Prime. Next anime on my list is Champion Joe. Now we're taking it way back with this one, as we should, okay? A troubled youth goes on a journey to become a champion boxer, all while getting guidance from a former boxing coach turned alcoholic. It just can't trust these alley kids. Now run along while we teach her a little lesson. What's the matter? You a little hard of hearing? <laughs> So Joe Yabuki served his time in juvenile detention center in Tokyo and ended up walking the path of trying to become a professional boxer. It's a really touching story that features a main protagonist with a lot of heart, strength, and determination. And you know, as anime fans, that's what we love to see in our protagonists. Now this two hour movie is worth the watch. Even though this came out in 1980, it's actually the abridged version of the TV series that debuted in the 70s. I really enjoyed watching this. And if you're a fan of action, especially all you boxing fanatics out there, then I think you're gonna really love this one too. I've heard people who don't even care for anime or cartoons in general raving over this, so you know it's gotta be good. You can see what all the hype is about when you watch Champion Joe on Prime Video, free with Prime. The last anime on my throwback list is a show called Metal Skin Panic Maddox 1. A mechanic named Koji accidentally gets stuck in an anti-tank mecha. When the military comes after him to reclaim it, he has no choice but to defend himself. <laughs> マドックス指導神号キャッチ。どこだ東京中野エリア。動いた。真実都市の方へ向かっています。最悪だわ。止まんねえんだよ。<笑> 
Basically, this guy gets stuck inside this big mecha and now has to evade the government for the rest of his life. Oh, and his girlfriend might disappear forever too if he doesn't find her. I don't know how Koji finds the strength to go on every episode, okay? Being chased down by the feds every day is crazy. Real nasty work. Anime protagonists have that type of motivation that I just don't have, man. Like, oof. I don't know, it's a pretty insane story and kind of all over the place, but it's super entertaining nonetheless. If you are a fan of mecha anime, then this 1987 anime is definitely the show for you. Watch Metal Skin Panic Maddox on Prime Video, free with Prime. Well, that's it for my 80s anime recs that you can find on Prime Video. Let me know if you want a part two of this, or three, or four, or five, or six, I don't know. What do you want to see from Anime Club? And what are some of your favorite old school anime from the 80s? I want to know. I'm always looking for recommendations myself, okay? Just because I toss them out, don't mean I know everything, okay? And before I go, just let me remind y'all to subscribe to the Prime Video channel for more Anime Club episodes. I know y'all are subscribed for the anime, so just keep doing it, okay? And make sure you turn on those notifications so you can get notified of all the anime happenings on Prime Video. I've been your host, Cheyenne the Geek, and I will see you all on the next episode. Peace out. Mm -hmm.